go go subscribe to we love comics we love and we do we love comics this video is sponsored by pgx grading services get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code we love comics free press link in description these are the four comics i'm going to be sending out to pgx to get graded this month if you want to know what they are please stick around and you'll find out Greetings and salutations, my fellow comic book collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I'm going to show the four books that I'm going to be sending out to get graded this month. And for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I tried contacting all three companies, CGC, CBCS, and PGX, about doing this little deal that I did. And uh, the only one to respond was PGX, and I said, if I can... You know, put a little ad for your company. How many books can I, you know, get pressed and cl dry cleaned and graded? And PGX responded and said, we do this deal. You know, we put a 10 second ad, which you saw in the beginning of this video. I can send in four books a month. Uh, they're kind enough to do this. They don't uh, charge for anything other than the shipping costs. They will press them, dry clean them signature verification and it doesn't matter what age of the comic whether it's a brand new book or something from the 1930s they will do it all the same for me and there's a little discount that i offered for you guys if you're ever interested in using pgx now obviously you don't have to but if you do and if you send 10 books in and use the code we love comics free press you can get one of them pressed for free so um in about a month month and a half i get my books back and i do a live video unboxing where we learn the grades together I will give you my rough estimates of what I believe these to be, and then we all find out together the day they return. So it's a lot of fun to do, and I love doing it live, so this way people can see things without any doctoring of videos, without, you know, chopping things up. You see it as it's happening. So let's show the four books that I am sending out, and as always, I would love to hear your opinions. And don't forget... I am also selling my comic book mystery boxes. I am selling some of my uh, gold and palladium um, one ounce bars. And I am selling some individual comics that are on my website. Link is in the description, so please check that out. So here we go. Comic book number one. I have several copies of this. I figured with it being this hot right now, I figured I'd take the chance, get it graded. This is the highest graded one I have. Uh, this is What If number 10 which is uh, the quote-unquote first appearance of Jane Forster as Thor, or Lady Thor as they call her. But um, I just want to let everybody know that this is technically not canon, but it is the first time you ever see her in an outfit. So there is some controversy with it, but uh, plenty of people are getting this book and also Thor number one. I always say get both so you never have to worry. So uh, this book obviously is the book I'm going to get pressed and dry cleaned. I would say it's probably between about an 8 and a 9. Uh, depending on what the pressing does, it might go up a little bit higher than that. Colors present really well. Corners look good. It's got a nice, pretty much almost exactly even layout, so there's no miswrap or anything. And um, this book has white pages, so that one I'm looking forward to getting back. Next up, I sent in the number 1 variant. This is the number two variant, so if you're new to comic collecting and you've seen how hot the Eternals have been recently, and I've been telling people about this for a year, year and a half, unfortunately most people wait until the last minute and now they're spending a lot more money, um, issue number one and issue number two um, were supposed to be 25 cents, that's the regular issue, but they did make 30 cent variants, it was kind of the tryout issue, that's what they do right before they raise the prices of the comic books. But these are much rarer books, so if you have the opportunity to get one of these in issue one or issue two, I highly recommend it. I bought these sometime last year. My um, first issue, 30 Cent Variant, came back in 8.5. I think this one might be a little bit lower. Uh, I'm going to predict this, again, pressings, because there's some pressable defects. Um, so we'll have to see how good they can take them out. But, you know, it presents well, so this is not going to be far lower, if anything. I'm going to say roughly about a 7.0 to an 8.0. I'm sure it's going to be higher than that, but there's a couple little stress lines right here, right by the tip. So I don't know how much that's really going to lower it, so we'll find out. But um, I would rather grade a little bit lower and be wrong and it be higher than the other way around. So I tend to grade just a little bit lower. So that has uh, off-white pages. So definitely another book, please. If you can find that book, 
one Eoric two, get them, 30 cent variants. All right, here's another key book. I've decided I'm going to get, I was going to sell this one, then I realized I'm going to get it graded first because um, there was some controversy about this book. Uh, I don't remember the whole full details because this was over a year ago, but this is Amazing Spider-Man number nine. What I do remember is um, I had to file a complaint with eBay. Um, they weren't responding to anything. And they said, you know, send it back, get your money back. So I end up filling out all the forms. I send it back. And about two weeks later comes back and there's a thing that's written on it saying that they refused delivery. And there were actually dogs that they were putting out in the yard preventing the post postman from, you know, delivering the package. So they tried after two attempts or three attempts, I don't remember how many, it ended up coming back to me. So I was a little confused about this. So I call eBay customer service and I'm like, listen, I did everything I'm supposed to. I followed the whole thing with you. You told me to print out the return slip and mail it back, which I did. And it came back because the person declined to accept the package. What do I do? And he said, well, if you sent it and you have proof that you did and it comes back, it is now yours. So not only did I get my money back, I also got to keep the comic. So I don't know why the person decided to not accept the package and then um, I guess basically sick the dogs on the post office person. But um, OK, that's the weirdest situation I ever had. But I ended up not only getting my money back, but I have the comic. So I want to get this graded to see if there's anything really wrong with it. Um, it was just a really bad experience overall. I wish I remember really what happened, but I have the book that's most important. This is my second copy of this book. I had a super high grade book of this when I was a kid, paid $125 for it. As a matter of fact, if you saw the video I did uh, about a week ago, week and a half ago, um, I had a whole list of books as a kid that I actually wrote down, and this was one of them. And uh, I, I would have said easily it would have been a 9.4 to a 9.8. That's how good it was because my um, books were all mostly high grade. So um, I'm going to predict this book roughly about a 5.0 to a 5.5. Has a couple of little issues right here, a couple of little color breaks right there. Maybe three or four on the spine, if that. But overall, as you can see, it presents really well. The, the back looks pretty good. I mean, there's a tiny, tiny little dog ear right there. So that's going to bring it down, of course. But this is definitely not a 2.0 book or anything like that by any means. So I'm predicting about a 5.0 to a 5.5 with off-white to white pages. All right, and last but not least, um, this book did arrive a little damaged because they put it in with no packaging. Uh, it crinkled a little bit, but luckily not enough to break color. So it did cause a little indent with the staples. I, sh I talked about this uh, when I made the video of this book. So a pressing is going to help it. Hopefully we'll find out because it is one of those thicker books. But this is Giant Size X-Men number one. Uh, this is the first appearance of, we got first appearance of Colossus, Storm, Thunderbird, and Nightcrawler. Second appearance of Wolverine and first appearance as an X-Man. So this is an incredible book. Now, depending on if the pressings can get this out, because um, the person that mailed this ultimately ended up putting it with no protection at all. And it was scrunched into my mailbox, so it was bent a little bit. So there are some creases here because of that. Now, um, because it's a thicker book, it kind of pressed into the staples because the staples are on the inside. So it left a little indents, but it didn't break color. So I'm hoping that they can press that out, but I don't know. But even if it can't, I still got a really good deal on this book, so I cannot complain. I'm going to say cautious, reservedly, I'm going to say the pressing is going to help it. It's going to be between an 8.0 to a 9.0. It might even be higher than that. But I'm not really sure because it's based on some of the wrinkle damage, which is a real shame when people um, don't put any protection on a comic. And that's why if you've ever ordered a comic from me, because, you know, I'm selling my books for uh, helping uh, Cat Luna with her medicines and her medical bills. We just took her back for a checkup the other day. Um, and we're also trying to raise the money to move. I'm about halfway there. So um, if you've ever ordered any of mine, you've gotten them completely protected and there was no envelope. I mean, I think that's just ridiculous. So those are the four books. We got Giant Size X-Men number one, Amazing Spider-Man number nine, Eternals number two, 30 Cent Variant, and What If number 10, quote unquote, first Jane Foster as Thor. 
So those are the four books. I want to thank you guys for taking a look at this video. Uh, don't forget, I am doing a contest. If you haven't seen it, just watch the video. It's a recent video I just did, just did recently. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise, surprise subscriber shout out. All you have to do to be one is be a subscriber. So hopefully you will. And don't forget, it's not you. It is not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cash back program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel mystery boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And mycomicshop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout out.